Hello and welcome to Talking FCB and welcome back here to the channel guys. An update today on transfers and in particular not just the rumours today. We've got some really, really good topics of discussion because I need to know your thoughts. We're going to be talking today about N'Golo Kante. We're going to be talking once again about Lataro Martinez, about Antoine Griezmann and in particular we're going to be talking about Barcelona's approach to the transfer market and in particular the way that we go about signing new players. It's all coming up. In today's video, plenty to discuss. Let's do it. And let's start first and foremost here with that rumour linking Barcelona to Chelsea's N'Golo Kante. And this originates here on the cover of Mundo Deportivo with the big, big headline there, Kante Option. And they believe there in MD that Barcelona have a genuine chance this summer of signing N'Golo Kante as part of the deal that takes Felipe Coutinho to the Premier League. Now they go on to say there that Barcelona are looking for a profile along the similar lines there of N'Golo Kante. They actually say in their words, a midfielder with legs. And N'Golo Kante is one of those players who certainly fits those characteristics. He has two of them. And Barcelona feel as though Chelsea, in wanting to bring Coutinho to the club this summer, they believe that Kante could be available to go in the other direction. And what I would say to this, the first thing that you have to say is Kante will not be leaving Chelsea. And it will certainly not be part of the deal to take Coutinho from Barcelona to the Premier League. The reason for that is... Is, I don't actually feel as though Chelsea want Coutinho that bad. If you're actually saying to Chelsea there, we're having to basically beg them to take Coutinho off our hands, it's probably only going to be a loan deal anyway. And suddenly now we're saying, yeah, well, if you really want Coutinho, we'll have Kante, one of your best players. It's not going to happen. Chelsea will not play that kind of ball with us. And it's simple as that, really. Kante is not going to be leaving Chelsea, certainly not as part of that deal. But I actually want to talk here about the wider issue at Barcelona and I think you can all understand this because I think we all felt this way when we saw yet another rumour linking Barcelona there to a defensive minded midfield player. You've got N'Golo Kante, we've been linked very very recently to Tongi Ndombele of Tottenham and of course as well we have been linked with Napoli's Fabian Ruiz. Now all of these players, don't get me wrong, they're top quality. They are very very good midfielders in their own teams right now. They've all had good seasons and make no mistake about it, they're very very good players. But you would have to say, looking at their base characteristics, looking at the way they play, the style they play, they are more defensive minded than they are offensive minded. And that, for me, is a bigger problem right now at Barcelona. Why are we looking at our current midfield options? You look at the players in there, Sergio Busquets. You look at a player who was brought in at the start of the season in Frank de Jong, who hasn't even got to play really in his favoured role at the base of our midfield in that defensive position because Busquets has been there. So quite clearly, what we're not looking for right now is a defensive midfielder. We've got a team there full of players who can think Defensively, What we're crying out for in midfield is the opposite of that. You look at our quality, you look at the players that we have, but the one thing you are looking for in that midfield, especially under Setien, is somebody there who can be dynamic, who can actually make forward runs, who can link midfield and attack and make things happen going forward. We are lacking that kind of creativity from midfield. What we're not lacking is somebody there who's going to be defensive, somebody there who can help in our own half of the pitch as opposed there to going forward. And like I say, under Setien, Kante anyway would not be a player that you'd look at. Are the Barcelona board here going completely mad? Under Luis Enrique, maybe. Under Ernesto Valverde, most certainly. But now we've got in Setien. Please surely tell me that they're altering their targets, that they're altering their the players that we're looking for to actually suit the coach's system. Because like I say, it's yet another rumour, and it is only a rumour. I'm not saying here that it's guaranteed that Barcelona want Kante, but what I'm saying is, Kante, Fabian Ruiz, and Dombele, they're all good players. Players, but they're not what we need. We're looking at that team. We're crying out for somebody with creativity from midfield. And in a moment, we are going to go on to Lataro Martinez. We're going to talk about Antoine Griezmann. I'm sure Neymar as well will come up in that discussion. And it just goes on and on and on. And it's indeed part of an even bigger problem, I feel, at Barcelona, especially under this current board. Because I want to ask you guys the question here of when Barcelona feel as though right now they need a player. They look at that team, they're looking at the characteristics, and they're thinking, right, we need to add that particular player to our team in that process. 
profile. Now, years ago, we used to say the first port of call would be, do we have that player already in our ranks? Do we have somebody at Barcelona B who could come up, make that step up, and actually there play that kind of profile? Do we have somebody in La Masia who we believe that we can count on? Now, if the answer was no, then okay, you look further afield. But again, it would be a different sort of practice to what we see now, because we would have a look in the market maybe for a bit of a gem, a hidden gem, somebody there who we've scouted, who we've watched, who gone under the radar, who we've been clever about, and we can bring in there to develop up into some world-class quality. But now, now the problem is, if you look at the team, if you say, right, we need that kind of player, we need a centre forward, we need a midfielder, we need a winger, it's bang, 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 all the best players, all the biggest names, doesn't matter how much they cost, doesn't matter how old they are, doesn't matter what wages they're on, bring them in. And that, for me, it's the wrong mentality. We are not the Real Madrid from all of those years ago. We are not a team here who need to keep bringing in Galactic after Galactico, after Galactico, you don't always need to chase the biggest names. You can be smart in the market, you can have a look around, you can bring players in who may not necessarily sell the most shirts, but they may prove to be much more effective signings. Because you actually look across at Real Madrid and what they've been doing, you look at the amount of young players they've actually brought in, whether they're at the club now, whether they're out on loan, they've got a list of Brazilians, they've got a lot of young European players as well, who they've got out on loan, they've got in their lower ranks, and they are stockpiling right now a really, really young, talented core of players. And it's crazy how the tables have turned. But like I say, that's all part of the wider issue with the Barcelona board. And indeed, we do go on now to talk about sports cover, which focuses very much on the future of Antoine Griezmann and Lataro Martinez, because they actually cover a report here which originally surfaced in the Italian media, which basically says that Inter have requested Antoine Griezmann in exchange for Lataro Martinez. That's the deal, apparently, that could be on the table this summer. And quite simply here, I'm not going to delve too much into whether or not that is true. I'm not 100% convinced, if I'm completely honest. But what I would like to say to you guys, and the opinion, of course, that I need, is would you do that particular deal? Is that a road there that you would go down? Because, again, we're talking about a very, very high-profile, big-name signing in Antoine Griezmann. He was only brought in last summer, of course, and he's somebody who we paid massive massive, massive money for. And already, just like Atinho, just like Dembele as well, there's exit rumours relating to him. We've already heard him as a possible swap deal for Neymar Jr. That's something that seems to have been and gone in the media for now. But now, he's also being linked in that Lataro deal. And is it a deal that you'd do? Would you there trade Antoine Griezmann, a forward player, somebody maybe didn't have the best debut season ever at Barcelona? Would you get then Lataro coming in the other way? Is that something you'd like to see happen? And if you would, or if you wouldn't, let me know in the comments down below, but explain very carefully why. What is your decision? I'm very, very interested to know. And like I say, for me, the strategic plan, the signing of players, the pursuit of players to bring into this team, it's been wrong now for several, several years. Only now, really, given the fact there's no football, given the fact that we do talk about this news every single day, am I having the chance to really go into it in a bit more detail? But I think these are all thoughts, to be honest, that we've been having now for a very, very long time. Why does it always have to be those Galactico signings? Why does it always have to be the biggest name, the biggest earners coming into this club? And just because you pay all that money to bring them in, as we've seen with years gone by, it doesn't necessarily guarantee they're going to be a success. And that's why I'm very, very interested in what you've got to say. And that there, guys, does indeed bring an end to today's news roundup on the football front. Unfortunately, still no news whatsoever on when football may be returning. In terms of Germany, in terms of the Bundesliga, there are quite a few rumours now going around that maybe May could be their return date, but Germany are way, way ahead of many of the other European countries right now with regard to the current pandemic. I'll keep you posted on anything at all that we do here, but like I say, right now, Still no football. It's not getting any easier. I hope that you guys are staying busy. If you're not feeling good, if you're not having a good day, just talk to somebody. That's all I'd say. Right now, you're stuck in the house. There's not an awful lot going on. There's not an awful lot there to get yourself involved with. So if you do need a chat, please do make sure you speak out, even if you have to do it down below in the comments. I'm sure there's lots of people here, myself included, who would be happy to talk to you. Let me know all of those thoughts in the comments down below, guys. Have some conversation. <laughs> what else are we going to do? I will see you soon, guys. But until next time, as always, Vishka El Barca. <laughs>